Here we have the 2011 Winter Village Post Office. This is set number 10222. And I really wish that LEGO would come out with a new post office because this is the only one in the entire series of sets. Anyway, let's start digging in. And the first thing I'm going to have to do is start pulling this set apart. I've already decided I'm going to be extending the roof line a total of four studs. And the base of the building, we're going to be extending three studs. This entire process for all these buildings is a lot of trial and error. And one of the things I do want to point out is I'm not really worried about putting anything on mills plates just yet, but every one of my bases, when I'm extending them out, I'm trying to take into consideration that I will be putting them on one, possibly at a later date. So I do size everything up accordingly. I spent a ton of time trying to get the windows correctly located when I was redoing this building. I want to say I spent a total of or I tried a total of four different locations before I finally settled on the final location, which you will see at the very end of the video, um, because even once I settled on the location, I ex extended it out one stud with the window just to add a little bit of greebling to the back of the building. Something else you will notice while I'm building here, I added some post office boxes inside the lobby. Since I had a little extra space, I thought, you know what? A post office is not complete without some P.O. boxes in the lobby, and that was another feature that I thought would really be fun to add to this little build. Right here is what I mean by a lot of trial and error because as you can see, I started and I made that back corner kind of squared off. And after looking at it, I was like, man, this doesn't look right. It, it needs to look a little different. So what I did is I set the wall in one more stud and I was a lot happier with the finished result once doing it this way. Once I finally got everything pretty much set up the way that I liked it, I started worrying about trying to get the top half assembled in a manner and fashion that it would be modular because the building wouldn't be complete if you can't get down inside and kind of mess with the lower floors. So that's what I'm working on here is trying to figure out how to make it modular and then also finish up the walls around the uh, rear exit door. And then I got busy once I got all these final walls done, starting to put the roof and the top half of the building on. And now we have the finished building, and I could not be happier with how it turned out. I do want to point out the gazebo here that I'm holding. Um, this is part of the set, and to me, it looked amazing just as it was, so I did not change any details at all on that particular portion of the set. On the building, though, you can see, this is what I was talking about earlier in the video, I extended on either side of the door and window the building by one stud because I thought it gave it a more natural look so that the back of the building wasn't just flat because it really didn't look right the way that it was. Something else, I don't like that water that is kind of hanging down on the side of the building. And I removed it off this side already. And what I'm intending on doing is at some point I'll put it back. But when I put it back, I'm going to get the little white unicorn piece and put those on either side of the window and by the door and even the front windows because I think that is a more natural looking uh, part to resemble icicles. Because again, I, I just really don't like that water piece there at all. Just my personal opinion. But now um, I did keep this or I did make this building modular. Uh, I didn't want it to be any way other than modular because if it's not modular you can't get inside and play with it and as you can see even the top opens up so you can get down if you want to place mini figs or whatever else inside of the building you have tons of access to be able to do just that and now i can't wait to start on the next building in the series which is this one right here <laughs> 